In this lesson, we'll learn how to find square roots, um, graph of an equation, and Pythagorean theorem. So let's get started. The first thing we'll learn how to find square root of a number. If you want to find square root of a number, you need to find the number multiplied by itself, give you 25. So that is 5. That means 5 times 5 equal to 25. So square root over 25 is 5. So let's do another one. So this one is square root over 81. That is 9. That means 9 times 9 equal 81. So let's learn how to add square root together. So if you want to add square root together, the first you need to make sure that inside of the square roots are the same. So in that case, we have 5 in both sides. So you have to just add only the outside. So 8 plus 3 is 11 is square root over 5. Let's do another one. This time is subtraction. Same way, just subtract the whole number. So 9 minus 3 is 6 is square root over 3. So here is a practice problem. You try by yourself. Make sure that you get same as I got. There is another example. There is another practice problem. Try by yourself. So now let's learn how to multiply square roots. So if you want to multiply square roots, you only need to multiply inside to inside, outside to outside. So that gives you 3 times 5 is 15. How about this? So 7 times 5 is square root over 35. Let's learn how to multiply uh, square roots uh, with numbers. Right, so let's do that. So if you want to uh, multiply numbers with square root, you need to multiply the whole number with whole number and then square root with square root. So 3 times 2 is 6, uh, 4 times 5 is 20. So that gives you uh, 6 square root over 20. So if you simplify that, so um, you'll get a little bit simplified uh, form. So you have 6 into um, 4 times 5. So the way you need to split this number that to make sure that one of the number is, is perfect square number either 4, 9, 16, 25, so and so, right? So that way you could find the, the square root of that particular number. So I have here then 6 times 2 square root over 4 is 2 times square root over 5. So that gives you 6 times 2 is 12 is square root over 5. So uh, let's go to the next problem. So um, this is a practice problem. You try by yourself and make sure that you get the same answer that I got. Another practice. This one same. Try by yourself. Make sure that you get the same answer that I got. In this section, we'll learn how to find graph of an equation on the as bub they most likely ask you an equation either a straight line or a curve so let's use a graphing calculator to find out an equation either a straight line or curve let's see this is a graphing calculator so let's plot some equation and see how it look like so say a very simple equation. I have 3x um, plus 5y equal to 7. So you see, this is a straight line. So that means x e exponent and y exponent are 1 here. And but uh, if we send the exponent, so say like I put the exponent um, into 2, you see, that is not a straight line anymore. Let's do the other one too. You see, this is a, this is the ellipse, right? So this is the way um, you need to find out if a uh, equation is a straight line or is the not a straight line. 
so if you have x exponent is more than or less than one that is not a straight line but if you have a uh, equation with exponent just exactly one so that is a straight line so you could try by yourself and uh, whenever you have that type of problem so easily you could find out if a equation is either a uh, curve or a straight line now you could easily um tell me if it is a, a straight line or a curve so as you could see x exponent is 2 right so this is definitely a equation of uh, not a straight line all right so this is the same way this is the equation with um, x exponent and y exponent so that is a curve so in this section we'll learn how to find um, the missing side of a right triangle using Pythagorean theorem so the Pythagorean theorem is uh, if two sides of a right triangle is given so you could find the third one using the formula that is called a square plus b square equal c square so in left side you have a b and c and the right side is c missing so using the Pythagorean theorem you could find out the missing side c so let's do that and plug the value so that gives you 3 square plus 4 square equal c square right so 3 times 3 is 9 plus 4 times 4 is 16 equal to c square or 25 equal c square and then you could uh, write that down like this so c equal to e square root over 25 equal to 5 so that means this c equal to 5 here let's do another problem but in that case uh, c is given but a is not given so let's see how to do it plug it in the value we have in here so we have um, b is 6 square plus a square equal 10 square uh, that gives you 36 plus a squared equal to 100 so if you subtract both sides by 36 you have a square equal to 64 if you find a square root of our 64 that gives you 8 so 64 equal 8 so that a equal to 8 here so this is the way how to find um, a missing side of a right triangle using the Pythagorean theorem right so let's do a uh, practice problem you try by yourself and make sure that you get the same answer that I got it so practice couple of times and you should be good